If you haven't seen the eight films nominated for Best Picture, now's your chance. They're making their big run in theaters and in some cases are packaged for pre-Oscar viewing. Now, if you're a betting person, you're probably looking at Roma, A Star is Born, Black Klansman, and Green Book as the ones to go the distance. If they're not on your short list, hop to it. You've got less than a month to catch up. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's one new film this week, a remake of a Spanish language original from 2011. Called Miss Bala, the remake stars Jane the Virgin's Gina Rodriguez as an innocent caught up in a world of drugs, destruction, and deceit. When she visits a friend in Tijuana, her friend disappears at a nightclub and she goes looking for her. Before she knows it, she's kidnapped and used to tote laundered money for a drug cartel. Unlike Clint Eastwood in The Mule, she sees the darkest side of the cartel and agrees to work for the DEA. While walking between the two worlds, Rodriguez finds her own strength and a wicked way with firearms. Well, this could be the ultimate build a wall kind of film. Director Catherine Hardwick uses the circumstances to say much more. Miss Bala is filled with action and explosions and a performance by Rodriguez that could serve as her entry into the world of films. As much as Hollywood would like to picture Gina as another Rodriguez, Michelle, she finds her own way and could blaze a different trail for others. Now, it's not going to be on next year's Oscar list, but it is a diversion from weather, football, and politics. With your movies in a minute, I'm Bruce Miller.